for those of you new here, my name is Katie. I'm a wife, I'm a mom, and I work full time. I love makeup and skincare, and I truly believe every single woman wants to look and feel her best. And today, I'm going to be sharing with, oh, and I have the tools and the resources to help you get there. And today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. I am going to be applying the shade L700, which is a natural ivory. I was taking a look at the CoverGirl website, and they actually, this concealer is available in 30 different shades. So you are bound to find a shade that works best for you. If you're somebody that really struggles with dark circles, I highly recommend getting a concealer that has a little bit of a pink undertone. This is more like neutral. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to apply that underneath the eyes. Now I will tell you this, I went ahead and I applied my foundation, but I didn't put a whole lot of foundation underneath my eyes. And I also need to clean up my eye makeup. All right. I've never used this concealer before. So I'm going to just start out with a little bit and I'm going to take my damp blending bud and I'm gonna focus that from the inner corner of the eye all underneath the eye here and kind of use it to hopefully kind of clean up my face makeup a little bit. Just that damp blending bud, using that to blend that all underneath the eye there. I think I could go in with a little bit more. It doesn't seem like it's too thick. Sometimes you have to be really careful with concealer and how thick it is. So I'm just taking that all underneath the eye there, kind of cleaning up the edge of my eyeshadow makeup. I wanted to kind of, I accidentally got a little bit of uh of that eyeshadow makeup in the inner corner. So I wanna kinda of clean that up as well. So that way it's not so drastically pink. Okay, that looks good. So there you can kinda of see the difference between the two, right? Like that concealer sitting really nice underneath the eye. Let me take a look at it with my handy mirror. Yeah, that looks nice. I'm going to go in on the other side now that I know that I can go a little bit heavier with my unique concealer. I definitely have to make sure that I am light handed because it is definitely full coverage. So anytime I'm trying a new concealer and I recommend this for you as well, start out with a little bit of product and see um, how it sits on the skin how much product it really takes to get you that coverage that you want. And then if you need to go in with a little bit more product, you can. It is so much easier to add on very gently and build that product versus having to clean up if you go a little bit too heavy on the first application. So again, just taking that blending bud and pressing that right underneath the eyes. Yeah, that looks very nice. That looks like it's sitting really, really nice on the skin. The real test will be to see how it wears throughout the day to see if it like bunches or anything like that. One thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of my Prime and Set Mist and I'm gonna spray that on the blending bud and I'm gonna use that to just very lightly set underneath the eyes. Just like that. Okay, perfect. So once that dries, then I can go in, I can do the rest of my contouring. But right now, like I'm really liking the way that this concealer wor works and it sits on the skin. So stay tuned. Like I said, the real test will be to see how it wears throughout the day. So I'll be I'm back. back and I will tell you, I am impressed with this concealer. I'm not really seeing any bunching or creasing underneath the eyes. It looks like it's wearing really, really well. And so I definitely would recommend if you are looking for a concealer that maybe is just like a, a little bit of a lighter formula. So it's not going to be like your Tarte Shape Tape or your unique concealer where like a little bit goes a long way. You saw the video where I need it just like a little bit Bit more so if you like that type of formula where it's maybe like a, a little bit of a thinner formula definitely make sure that you check this one out I would definitely recommend it if you have any questions about the concealer please don't hesitate to ask I do think it makes a big difference setting that product with that prime and set mist huge difference right like it's gonna help prevent that creasing um, but if you like these types of videos give me a thumbs up let me know that in the comments below be sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so that way anytime I post a new video you are notified have a great day